Hello, and welcome to Daily Chess episode 13. Today we're playing our game earlier than before, which I'm very happy about. And we're playing a Blitz game. Let's get started. Our current rating is 17, sorry, 1691. We're playing against a 1712. And we're going to play d4. Okay, we play the Queen's Gambit. And let's see what he plays. So I've actually lost a few games to the Marshal recently, which is not okay. Because the Marshal is supposed to be supposed to be dubious, but I was I wasn't finding the right way to punish it. So I gotta look at that as well. I'm basically trying to find the optimal order to uh, to do these things. Uh, that's a weird move. I'm trying to remember why this one's so bad. I think a6 in this is bad. But the idea is that I can recollect the pawn like that when I want to. But for now, there's no rush. I just I just play regularly. Yeah, that's not a good move. I don't know what his knight's doing there. Uh, I think I can just castle. Because really, what's his knight doing there? Do you know? Uh, okay, castle. That's a it's an oddly placed knight. Not gonna lie. Uh, he still shouldn't take, I think, because I think that still wins the pawn. Uh, at this stage, I can take this. Hmm. This knight's really bad. My idea is that if I go here, though... Yeah. I feel like I should take this, because we're opening up the center a little bit more. Uh, takes, takes. How do I get rid of the knight? So we're going to take here. Uh, we're going to play knight here pretty much regardless. I think. I think we're going to play knight here regardless. Attacking this pawn, attacking the knight. And if I play knight here, it's an attack on this. This, this, that doesn't work for him. Okay, so this is a new line that I haven't faced before. So my question is, do I develop my pieces? Do I take this knight? I don't think I take the knight. Uh, I could. Or do I play knight e5 myself? And I'm not sure. I want to play e4, but his knight's on that square, so i got to move the knight. So if I play this move here, and he takes my knight, that's the critical line. Then I play d4. If he pushes, I would take this piece. Now I'd have to move my knight. Oh, if he pushes, I take his knight for, for free because it's hanging. Um, I feel like I should play knight e5, but I don't like that my pawn gets displaced. So I was considering playing here, but then I think that's met with this. Yeah. Hmm. That's a weak pawn. We should attack weak pawns, right? This appears to attack a weak pawn. But then he plays bishop e6, fortifying the pawn. And he wanted to play this move anyway. So that's not right. Oh, he can't play there because he drops this pawn. Okay, so I'm expecting takes, takes some move to hopefully defend this pawn, maybe this one even, then I can push in the center. I think I didn't do the right thing uh, some at some point here. Maybe I played bishop g2 here earlier. Maybe I should have developed my queen. I think my knight, uh, I think my knight's fine here. Okay, he's attacking my, my queen. So we'll go here attacking the knight and also attacking this pawn. Oh, but he takes my knight. I think this is the move. Because if takes, takes, his knight's still attacked. And then I'll pick up this pawn. Oh, I can't pick up the pawn because my knight's gone. <laughs> hmm. I'm getting into something here. 
I'm not happy about what's happening right now. Not happy about what's going on here. Okay, now my knight is happy to go to e5. My queen will go back to c2. I can't play this anymore because the bishop. Man, look at that. I really misplayed that. <laughs> you see what it just happened? Jeez. I don't even know where the knight came from. Let's go. Uh, we're not going to go back right now. Yeah, that was really bad. So e4 looks definitely like it's in the cards. Uh, so we'll play it. Checks, captures, threats. Uh, I can check his king on h7, so we got to watch out for that. He can check my king nowhere. So this looks like a move. That pawn's weak. So we're going to start going after it. After takes, takes, and then knight here. This pawn ends up being isolated in the end. But that's okay. Uh, he's going to let me take it. Hmm. Hmm, 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 I don't understand. So if I take, he takes. That pawn's super loose. Uh, and then after a move, like getting on an open file, or attacking that rook. Or attacking this pawn, I mean. I like that idea quite a bit. So I'm wondering if I'm just debating between pushing or taking. If I push, what does that give me? Uh, I think I'll take. It unleashes the queen. Open files, open lines. Uh, so rook e1 or rook b1? Uh, I think I like rook b1 better. Rook b1, I'll play this, and then maybe I'll even play this move to get at that guy. I think he's going to be playing g6 soon to put his bishop here. Okay, and he just defended it. Bring our other rook to the center. Great. Now an 85 is definitely possible. I still don't have a really good way to meet g6, which is a bit just depressing. Uh, I think I missed the opportunity to play a4 there. He can't take because he loses the rook, and if he pushes, takes, takes, then I have a passed pawn. Yeah, like I said, g6 here. Um, gah. Terrible, terrible. He's starting to win the exchange. Um, man. Not good. There's good, and there's not good. Man. Oof. This is very, very rough. We gotta go back. Actually, let's, let's go back with a threat. If he defends knight there. Knight here. Now, a4 can be met by this move. Oh, no, it can't, because I just take with the rook. Yeah. So a4's got to be played at some point. This is just letting stuff go. I, need, I actually wouldn't mind giving up this bishop at some point. Um, he has weak pawns, and there's nothing here to attack anymore. Um, but yeah, I really just... This position's gone very downhill. He's got to be a little bit careful, because my queen is looking at that pawn. I'm expecting this move. I see nothing wrong with that move. And then I was planning to play uh, f4 to reinforce my knight. And then upon the bishop going back, I was going to play a queen back this way. So he'd have three attackers, and I'd have three defenders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like this. Yep. 
So everything's going according to plan. This move actually attacks the pawn. I kind of dig that idea of attacking the pawn. But then you can defend with bishop e3. Oh, bishop e3, knight captures c4. He gets in the long diagonal, he's hanging the pawn. So I'm debating between this move and this move. I think it's this one here. More active this way. And I gotta watch out because this guy's hanging actually. So after this move, I have to play knight there. No other choice. Yeah. No other choice. Except for I can take here with check. He takes me. Again, I take with check. Then my knight comes back. Let's do that. Let's win a pawn with check. Check. Okay, it's still check. And now we have another check if we'd like it. I don't think I'd like it because I'd lose a rook. Or I'd lose a knight if I do that. Uh, that's a check I can take. We'll go back this way. Uh, the idea behind this is this knight's hanging. Oh, I could have just taken the knight. Oh, this knight's hanging. Oh, man. Oh, I'm such a fool. That knight was hanging, and if he takes mine, that's okay, because I get a pawn back for it. Dang. Okay, so that's the move I think he's going to play. Okay, he saved his knight. That's good. He saw that it was hanging. Now, if this move we take... So let's push with a4. Yeah, this turned back up for me, I think. I think a4 is a good move. Takes. Takes bishop here. Got to watch out for that pawn. So this knight has to come in here. Whoa! Uh, I absolutely did not expect that move. Because doesn't it just hang a pawn? Could I go with bishop or do I go with knight? I'll go with bishop to threaten to pin the knight. And if he goes here, I'm going to go here. Okay, so he's threatening this pawn. The issue is I take this one with check. And so since it's check, you have to deal with it. That's another check I can do. Uh, yeah, no, this is just a pawn. Just a super passed pawn. Plus two. Uh, yeah, so he doesn't seem to do too great. Maybe his knight tries to hop in the position, but my king's going to move up. I'm just going to try to force this guy through. Okay, so he wants to trade stuff. I'm very happy to trade stuff. That's kind of a mean check. Hmm. Rather I have my dark bishop or my light bishop. I think I'd rather have my light bishop. I don't know which way to bring it back. We'll go here. Gotta watch out for some forks. Whoa. Here, 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 here. One, one, two, two. Okay. Man.
Is this really? Am I really gonna draw? I can't believe I drew this game. I was up two pawns. That's really sad. All right, so he's gonna take the pawn, I think. I'll be making moves over here. Yep. I don't think he should take the pawn though. Oh, okay. I think this is bad for him. Like real bad. Cause he goes there. Should I have gotten the opposition there? I don't have very much time. Now there is a trick here that you can do to make a passed pawn. The way he takes, push, push the push the pawn. The the problem is I think he gets like if I go, I think the move is to go uh, here, but that won't work in this case. So it doesn't matter what he plays here. We're just gonna go back and forth. Yeah, this is just a draw. And that's a draw. All right, we gained no points. But also, simultaneously, we lost no points. All right, thank you so much for watching. We're going to analyze this game later. Uh, it was a wild game for sure, uh, with a lot of mistakes made by both of us. So check back in later to see the analysis of this game, and also stay Turkish. See ya!